and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The opposition says Aussie wages aren't being given the focus they deserve after new figures show they're not keeping up with inflation. Bureau of Statistics data shows that wages increased 1.3% in the September quarter and 4% over the year. But Shadow Treasurer Angus Taylor says inflation runs at about 5%. This is what Australians are talking about around their kitchen tables, but it's not being talked about enough around the cabinet table. Uh, these, are, these are the issues that really count and frankly uh, they're not getting the focus they deserve. Federal Treasurer Jim Chalmers has hit back his top parliament. More people are better off now than when the coalition was in power. Wages growth is a deliberate design feature of our economic plan. That's why we supported an increase to the minimum wage. It's why we supported decent pay for aged care workers and that was recognised in today's release, Mr Speaker. Australia's power network is expected to be put to the test over summer. Extreme heat and bushfire risks will see a once-in-a-decade spike in energy demand, which could outstrip supply and lead to blackouts. The energy market regulator is considering paying some major energy users to lower their demand if the grid becomes strained. The federal government is working on legislation to try and get 83 asylum seekers back into custody. The High Court has ruled that people can no longer be kept in indefinite detention. Some of the people who've been released have a pretty violent history, but the government maintains that they are on strict visa conditions. Police have dismantled a $1 billion drug empire, arresting one of Australia's most wanted men overseas. Two dozen people were taken into custody following raids in Sydney, where officers seized more than 20 firearms. Aussie wine, seafood and beef is expected to be back on the menu in China by Christmas. The move will restore about $2 billion in lost sales over the past three years. And Australia Post will begin Saturday and Sunday deliveries from this week weekend to ensure that packages arrive just in time for Christmas. The festive deliveries will be available in all major capitals. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport, and Novak Djokovic is making no excuses for his shock loss at the season-ending ATP finals in Italy. The world number one and 24-time Grand Slam winner has gone down to Yannick Sinner in three sets. Djokovic says the better man won. In your entertainment news now, Angie Flip and wife selling Sunset star Chriselle Strauss have walked the red carpet for this year's ARI Awards in Sydney. Troy Zavan, Joel Corey and Jess Malboy have also made an appearance. Now Taylor Swift will be home for the holidays. The singer planning to jet back to spend Thanksgiving with her family. Now that's after her concert in Rio de Janeiro ends on Sunday. She'll then fly back to resume her era's tour the day after Thanksgiving. And Robbie Williams has snapped back at a reporter for probing into his sex life with his wife. The superstar was questioned about the impact of his depression medication on his libido after he opened up about it in his new Netflix doco. He's lashed out at the reporter though with his own question saying one probing question deserves several back. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of the update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.